Our next topic today is fungicide use, specifically Headline. Darren, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on with Headline, because last year a lot of guys complained, oh, it's kind of high priced, I don't know if I really need fungicide, but this year things have changed. Well, we've had a lot of questions about Headline, there's no question about that, and most guys say, tell me more about Headline, and you say, okay, now do you mean fungicides or Headline? They say, oh, well, I mean fungicides, but is there anything else? That's the only one that I ever hear about, and that's all my neighbors are using. And really, Headline is by far the most widely used fungicide, in our opinion, in corn and soybeans and wheat. But last year, it got a little pricey. So guys started thinking, man, do I really need it? Can I make it work? Well, this year, the price has come down. In fact, right now, if you're ordering Headline, they've got rebates up to $75 a gallon to get you know much better deal on your Headline and keep your cost down. So besides that rebate, they also have 0% financing. They've got other rebates to tie in other products. Basically, what we're getting at here is for a wheat farmer out there who's been using, let's say, a half rate of Headline, last year it might have cost you $8. This year, you're down into that $5 range again. So now you're back to where costs were in, say, 2007. 2008. It looks like a much more viable option. And, you know, I mentioned wheat there, but this headline can be used in many different crops. So we want to talk today a little bit about wheat, corn, and soybeans, when to use headline, when not to use headline, when you're going to get the best return on investment. Let's start in that wheat since we've already brought it up. Okay, well in wheat it's it's pretty easy for farmers in our part of the country. Using a fungicide is just a no-brainer and the timing to use it is right with that early herbicide application. Usually that FEX 5 or 6 stage is a really good time where diseases haven't really got a big start on you yet. Now depending on the weather you may need to be a little bit earlier than that if you do have some diseases going in your area, but typically things like tan spot are just about to get going. So if we get out there and are putting that herbicide out early, it seems to hit them just well, right. Well, you say it's a no-brainer, but talk about return on investment a little. Well, you think about this. If you can do a half rate of headline in wheat for, say, $5 an acre, and wheat's about $5 a bushel, it only takes a bushel to get your money back out and, of this. And what are you, on average, getting back? Well, on average, in our area, you guys are getting better than three bushels back. So if you're getting three bushels, that's $15 return on a $5 investment. That's what I call a no-brainer. Okay, let's change gears a little bit. Let's go to corn. Not many people are using headline in corn in our area. When's the right timing? When should we be using headline in corn? Well, the best return in corn is going to happen as soon as your corn is fully tasseled and really, I'd like to say, starting to silk. Once you're in that stage, the corn is safe where you can't do any damage to it by spraying at the wrong timing because corn is pretty sensitive as it's just starting to tassel. So you want the field fully tasseled before you start spraying. Here's another big thing that I bring up to people when they talk about spraying corn. If you're going to have to hire a pilot to come out and spray anyway, throw some insecticide in with it so you can kill other bugs that would be out there at that time. And then besides that, BSF talks very often with Headline about plant health. Well, plant health is kind of a big deal because if you're in stress conditions, let's say you get some drier weather or whatever other kind of stress there is out there, weeds, anything else, if you have a healthier plant in stress conditions, you're going to have much higher yield. So that Headline has maybe a couple different benefits to it. Okay, let's finish up on soybeans. What do you think about using Headline on soybeans? Well, I think it's a good deal, especially when you're out there right around flowering time. If you're out at about R2, R3, which is full bloom to first pod stage, that's a great time to be putting on headline. The other thing about that time in our part of the country is we're spraying soybean aphids right then, right. too. It mixes right in with soybean aphid herbicide to do two jobs at once, like you were saying before. Yep. Well, once again, using a fungicide on your farm could be a good choice for you this year. So take a look at it and learn a little bit about how to make fungicides work the very best possible in plants. Well, one of the things you will need to do the very best possible is have good weed control if you want top yields. We'll tell you how to stop our Weed of the Week coming up later in the show.